Okay, so the first thing we need to do is... We need to do that. You can use uh, hammer-ons and pull-offs, there's no problem. I'm gonna do it uh, pretty much uh, the whole thing uh, staccato, but you can do hammer-ons and pull-offs. So we're gonna start doing that. So we're gonna go to 9 of the E string, then 7 of the E string, then back to 9 of the E string, and then 7 of the B string. Next movement. We're gonna go 10 of the E string, then 9, 10, 9, and 7. Let's go again. Next movement. We do that. It's 10 of the E string, 9 of the E string, back to 10 of the uh, E string, and we finish on the 7 of the B string. That is movement. Now we're gonna change the things a little bit. We do that, so it's after the 7 of the B string, we're gonna go to 12 of the B string, and we're gonna do 12, 10, 12 again, then 10 again, then 9, 12, and 10. That is the movement. Next, uh, next section. I'm sorry. We do that. We're gonna go uh, ascending. We're gonna go 9, 10, and 12 on the B string. And then 12, I'm sorry, 10 of the B string, 12. We're gonna go 9 of the E string. And then we're gonna descend and we're gonna go, we're gonna go 12, 10, 9 on the B string. And we're gonna finish on the 11 of the G string. Let's go on one more time. And then to finish, we do that. We're gonna go 10 of the E string, 9 of the E string, and then we're gonna strike 9 again of the E string. And we're gonna do that movement. It's 9, we do a hammer on to 10, and then 10 pull off to uh, pull off back to 9. And as soon as we do the pull off from 10 to 9, we do a slide from 9 to 7. And then to finish. We strike 9 of the E string again. Let's go the whole riff again, and then we are pretty much done. <laughs> 